Hi, my name is Allie Huff-Stetler, and this is my Module 7, Lesson 1, Practice 2. And I did um, the lungs, but this is, so the bottle is the body, the balloons are the two lungs, and then it's held together with tape, and then the, and then where it branches off is the bronchi, and then, then this is the trachea, and if it kept going, you would see the, bron the bronchioles, and then the alveoli, and then the pharynx, no, sorry, the larynx, and then the pharynx, and then the mouth and the nose. Um, so, I'll kind of show you how it goes, and then the diaphragm would be down here. So, when I inhale, it contracts and goes down. When I exhale, it contracts and goes up. So, I'll kind of show you. Sorry. All right. So, basically how that works is when you breathe in, through your mouth or your nose, the air goes in, and then it goes on your pharynx, which is like your throat, and then it goes through the larynx, which is called your voice box, because on the inside it has your vocal cords, which allows you to sing, um, you know, laugh, talk, yell, whisper, and then, so it goes through there, and then it goes into your trachea, which is a big tube, and it goes all the way, and it connects to your lungs, and it's lined with cilia, so like cilia, um, and those are like hair-like structures, which they move kind of in unison and together, and they sweep out fluid and extra fluids and extra particles. So it goes down, the trachea, the trachea goes down, and it branches off into two tubes called the bronchi. And then that, those two tubes go to little tubes that look kind of like veins, but they're tubes. So they're called bronchioles and then attached at the end of those bronchioles are called alveoli which are little sacs like little tiny balloons and then you have tiny balloons inside these big balloons and they and then wrapped in those are capillaries which are tiny vessels and they transport gases and nutrients um, from the blood to the cells so then the oxygen will move through the alveoli wall and it'll go into the blood, so from the lungs, and then it'll go to the heart, and then the heart will pump, as we know, it'll pump to the rest of the organs in the body where it's needed. Then, as it's being used, the oxygen will turn into carbon dioxide, which is not good, which is not a good thing to have in our bodies. Um, and so the blood will move the carbon dioxide to our lungs, and then our lungs will exhale it. And in the exhale, it is go out so we breathe in oxygen and then through that whole process the carbon and then it turns to carbon dioxide and it goes back through the bronchi through the trachea through the larynx the pharynx the mouth and the nose so it's back out in the world and that's how it works so thank you